you've got this magic, let's call it magic CV instead of a, a perfect CV. If there was a way of doing a perfect CV, somebody would make a fortune. Um, you only need one job. It's like getting married. You only need one spouse. If all the boys like the same girl, oh, wouldn't we all have problems? Maybe I ought to have said it the other way around so, so that male for male take female, female take male, because we're in a politically correct society. <laughs> With your magic CV, keep some copies with you. Presumably, you have the actuary magazine. Do, do the students get it here? Do you know? Yeah? Okay. Have it with you in your case, so you're sitting on the train and you've always got your, ma your actuary magazine cover up with whatever you want to read inside it. But it means if you're... <laughs> Sitting opposite another actor, they'll start talking to you. Actors do talk to other people, by the way. It's just, it, to other actors, it's just other people that it's difficult. Um, and then, um, when you've started talking, have you got any jobs in your company and you hand them a CV? <coughs> okay. If you find you really are stuck, at some stage, and this could well happen if you've got a work permit problem. And I'm not going to delve into that at the moment because the government can't make its mind up what it wants to do. Um, and therefore, whatever I tell you today is probably changed tomorrow. And I think we've got someone from an immigration company at the fair, haven't we? Has he come up to Scotland? Has um, Tim come? I don't think so, but we'll have to okay. check. Okay, well, um, there are immigration companies um, around. I, again, I won't recommend anyone, but if anyone wants to talk to me, I can tell them who we use. So, um, with, if you find that you can't get a job, if you get a job sweeping floors in the type of company that recruits actuaries, and then you start carrying on studying for the jobs yourself, so for the exams yourself, and make friends with the actuaries, and you keep going up and ask question after question after question, when a job comes up, who are they going to think of? You. Now, it may be they think they're not going to have that, that nutter, but usually, and I've said this to a number of people, one person, it took him 18 months before he got a job in the company, but he is now studying to be an actuary. So it really all depends on how dedicated you are and what you're, you're prepared to be. Um, now, the other thing with the CV, I <coughs> must stress, and it goes back to what, I mean, the thing with the rabbits was a, a bit funny, but it really underlies what goes on. So never, ever lie on a CV. It just isn't worth it. It is ethical to be truthful. It's, sorry, it's commercial to be truthful, or it's commercial to be ethical. Whichever way you want to put the words, but the minute you lie on your CV, even if it helps you to get a job, if you get found out, you will be out on your ear. There is no point in it. You know, so don't, no matter what your friends recommend, and I know that it is quite fashionable at the moment, um, television is even, and radio programs recommend it, do not go down that route. It is not worth it in the end, and you have to sleep at night. And believe me, that is very, very important that you can sleep well at night in your bed. And this is one of the reasons that I became an actuary, because it is easier to be ethical as an actuary than it is as, say, I mustn't uh, slander accountants, but um, <laughs> my husband's an accountant, it's okay. But I've always said my husband's different, so. But, you know, it, it is um, a, a nice way of life. So, you are ideally placed here at this university to do your own networking. That's the first thing. So do it through the university system. Make friends in the year above, and the year above, and the year above, even in the year below, years below, because eventually they'll become actuaries, and you never know when you might need them later on, or you might want to start, and you'll know which are the good students to hire. Go to the 
um, faculty bike chair or student, student society meetings. So if you're prepared to get on the train, it's worth going. Come down to London to SIAS meetings. Get onto the SIAS committee. It's much easier to get on while you're part qualified, qualified because they keep um, spaces available. And I was on the SIAS committee when many, many years ago, and I loved every minute of it and have kept the friends I made by being on that committee. Make sure that lots of people know you and think you are wonderful. You are wonderful or you wouldn't have got on to this degree in this university. Make sure everybody knows it. And um, good luck and I hope one day to be able to email you and say congratulations on being in the qualified list. But again I say there is more to life than just being an actuary. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck and give whatever your endeavours. Thank you. 